Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about menopause maintenance and not over-gripping through our hands and our arms. Now, I really like to think of the arms and the hands as an extension of the heart. And if you really look at the fascia, it is. That's, that's a true statement. And so today, we're gonna look at how we hold on to things too tightly. And I think that that happens a lot, especially in this season, it's the tax season. So we're like gearing up and we're gripping and we're holding, we're trying to hold on to all our money, but it's slipping away. You can hold on as much as you can, but it's going away. And then on top of that, if you're a menopausal woman and you have anxiety and all these things are slipping away from you, right? You're gonna really try to hold on to them tighter and tighter. And the thing is, is that that creates more rigidity in the body when we do that. So we're just in this Pilates studio environment. We're just gonna experiment with what are some strategies that we can start to feel what is the authentic position and a balanced position that we can use from our heart center through our arms and our hands. So the first little therapy that you can do, which is kind of fun, and once you start this, you might just be on the floor for an hour doing it because it feels so good. We're gonna use the ribbits. So Casey's gonna go into child's pose and she's gonna put her hands on the ribbits and she's gonna come into child's pose. And so this vibration of the ribbits is talking to this whole line into her arms and into her heart. And just giving her a little bit of, of therapy here, just kind of connecting the electrical circuits for a moment. And then you can do that for as long as you'd like, right? But we're gonna take the ribbits away now and then show you a position on her forearms and her hands. So I'd like Casey to show the over emotional, excited, like I want that that's in front of me and I'm gonna get it or I have to hold on to something, I'm not gonna let it go, right? And this is an expression where we're going a little bit overboard and we're really closing the back of the heart and we're ramping up our system too much. There's no real communication going on here. And now going into like, I'm scared, the cowering position, right? So we're scared of everything in life and we start to tend to withdraw from life. And so now I want her to find that Goldilocks right amount where she's really trying to find this beautiful balance of the front and back of the spine. And she also has this sense of contrast and opposition. And then I'd like her to add the little detail, which she's already probably doing, but add the detail of trying to bring the mat or the mat that's under your hands back into your armpits, back to your hips. So with that contrast, then the heart can bloom forward in just the right amount. And then we have that really nice connection. It's really a felt sense when you, when you find this, of that connection of the back of the heart into the arms and all the way into the hands. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.